All right, so now what we're going to do is take a look at something with topology. We're going to put away our sculpt, and we're going to make another sculpt right next to it. Okay, in this case, I'm going to add a mesh plane. And I'm going to say, do the control R thing again to insert some edge loops going around. Just like that. And this time in the center, I'm going to grab a face. Okay. Then I'm going to go control E and scale that in. I'm going to scale it into the center, just like that, a little bit further. And then I'm going to go control R and insert some edge loops going this way. Oops, not that way. Okay, one more. Cool. And now one going this way and one going this way. Okay. So what did I officially do here? Well, I created the spider web. Okay. And now that I have this spider web, we're going to do something with it. As soon as I get this menu out, Take this off to the side just to get this off to the side. There we go. And we're going to add a multi res subdivide it. And then I'm going to apply the subdivide. That means I have something like this. Well, this spider web will greatly increase the amount of detail I can put into something that looks like this. Okay because it'll stretch where this one would not stretch. Okay, and then multiply, subdivide it out. In this case, you know, last time I had to go to about seven or eight. This one, I probably won't have to get that high. Now I'll just quickly go in here and sculpt. And I'll put some time and energy into it, but not too much because, I, you know, I just at this point, I just want to show you the difference between it. Okay, so I'm just going to make a few of these land masses. But I want to add one more. I want to smooth this out. Just like that. Jump into three and then grab it using the grab tool. There we go. And I'll just smooth a lot of this stuff out. And I'll add some detail in. So you notice when I, I knock down Sculpt down to a, a lower level. Let me do that with a mouse instead of the Wacom drawing tablet. You can see that these polygons are still uniformed going all the way up.
All right, let's add some detail. I'm going to go to the F draw and then grab some fractal noise here. And just add some noise. Lower down the strength a little bit. Let's say this time I'm just adding a little bit here and there. Alt Z will make it so I can see this without it being so harshly shadowed. Remember, I ha I have the ability to turn on GLSL rendering now, based upon the last video. Okay, so I'm just adding some detail in here, putting some rocks at the base of this mountain. But look how much detail I can put into the side of this thing. Remember, I couldn't put any detail at all on the last one. Okay, and then add some noise. Again, you don't want the noise to be too much. Just lower that down just enough to put some grass and whatever at the base here. And then lower it all the way down to add some noise to this. And there we go. Okay, so let's tab into edit mode. Hit A. Let's go in and unwrap U on the keyboard. Unwrap. This has to have some kind of map attached to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go new image. Again, sample two. It's going to be 2048. by 2048, take off alpha, and hit OK. All right, so now what I can do, tab back into detail mode, or sculpt mode. I like going to object mode for the next step, lower this down to what I think is a, a usable mesh. So that's probably a usable mesh in a game right there. The next step is very low. And then what I'm going to do is go over here to the camera, bake normals from multi res. You can see up here I have this little progress bar. Oh, and I forgot to soften the normals. Oops. Just going to let it go. Okay. So here, I got to go back into edit mode to do a calculate, recalculate normals, and then uh, smooth shading. Okay, there we go. So let's try that again. Bake. All right, much better looking map. Uh, not a lot of orange anomalies, just there. You know, just the pink and the blue, but no weird orange. Okay, and now uh, to save this image as something, we'll save this image out to the hard drive, desktop, sculpt, and normal map example two. And we'll make that a TGA. Then I'll make a new material. Okay, the new material is going to have a texture. We'll call this material normal sample two. Enter. 
going to have a texture involved. And there we go. Click on new and use image from map open. And I'll use the hard drive sculpt normal map example two. Remember, we're going to have to map that to something. So the coordinates UV and that. It's not color, it's normal. And if I should look back, I should have this. And if I go to here, I'll have this warped image. All right, to apply this, all you have to do is go into edit mode. Okay, notice I have an assign button that popped up just here. So what I like to do is highlight all the faces and hit assign. Okay, then I'll go back into object mode and hit Alt Z. And there we go. Oops. Now, if I want to up that resolution, I can, like I can go to preview too. But again, I was able to put detail on the side of something. This one, I have this striping effect that's going on. And it's only because it has, this one has hardly any topology that matches up whatsoever. Okay, this one has this big spike coming out, okay? And that spike is just a flat polygon that's just a jetting out. But this one, you know, it has this web effect going on. Now, if I applied that to the base, let's say I went in here and went to the highest and say apply base. Now when I hit tab, I have this. And I can kind of uh, re-soften those a little bit if I want, but you'll see something maybe that will happen because of that. So I'm going to say uh, smooth vertex. There we go. See, now you can see much better detail. It's not um, all Oops, keep scaling it negative. It's not all distorted because of the simple fact that I got all the details right here. I, when I applied the base, it reformulated all the normals and polygons to match the higher res a little bit better. Okay, well, we got these out of the way. You know, Now, uh, maybe we can revisit the skull and see how this works. So... We meet in the next video. All right, as an add-on, I want to um, inform you that you can turn the normal map up and down. I, I forgot to add that to the previous video, so um, I'm recanting my statement. So if I click on the object like this in the object mode and go to its texture under normal, here's my normal map, I can glow like this. And I could turn this up or down. Okay, so that's what's missing out of the equation for that is it's adjustable. Perfect. All right, so now that I have that out of the way, let's go on to the next video.